Hello, my name is Dr. Joshua Huffman. I'm a board eligible chiropractic neurologist. I have advanced training in functional neurology through the Carrick Institute for Graduate Studies. I also have advanced studies in functional blood chemistry analysis. I own a private practice in Moundsview, Minnesota. I'm the author of this alternative medicine bestseller, Growing Young. This is a book which covers natural solutions to a wide array of health conditions ranging from neck pain, back pain, migraines, um, to fibromyalgia, neuropathy, and even thyroid disorders. On this video, I'm going to discuss some revolutionary information on thyroid disorders. I've directly studied under Dr. Datis Karazian, a renowned thyroid expert and author of the book, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms When My Lab Tests Are Normal? Why am I spending the time talking to you about thyroid disorders today? Well, the truth is that thyroid disorders are extremely prevalent in America. Many people who are suffering from them go undiagnosed, and many who, many who have been diagnosed are still suffering because the true cause of their thyroid disorder has been completely mismanaged. You see, some 20 million Americans are affected by thyroid disorders. That is one in 13 people. More than half of those people are those that I have mentioned previously, those who are unaware that they have a thyroid problem. It's been completely undiagnosed. According uh, to the National Women's Health Center, Information Center, I should say, one in eight women will experience a thyroid disorder during their lifetime. That's, that's an alarming rate, right? And it's probably something that you've never heard before. Well, today, my goal is to, is to tell you things that you haven't heard before. It's because, um, and the reason you haven't heard these things is because most doctors are only vaguely familiar with thyroid disorders. So in getting started today, let me ask you a few questions. You know, are you tired of running from doctor to doctor only to play Russian roulette with different medications? You know, here, try this drug. That one didn't work, try this one, right? We've all kind of, we, we all know somebody that's done that. And so um, it can be very tiring. Okay, it can, it can lead to a lot of hopelessness. Are you tired of taking medications that aren't fixing the problem? Do you continue to struggle with chronic thyroid symptoms day in and day out in spite of maybe being treated for thyroid condition? Before we get too far into how I test for and treat thyroid disorders in my office, I wanna take a moment to review the most common symptoms of a thyroid condition. So some symptoms of hypothyroidism, a low a low functioning thyroid. Uh, first, you may experience fatigue, tiredness, sluggishness. You may have cold feet and hands. You may require excessive amounts of sleep to function, okay? Do you, uh, do you gain weight easily or do you have a hard time losing weight? Do you have difficult or infrequent bowel movements? Do you deal with constipation? Are you depressed? Do you suffer from feelings of depression? Do you have just a general lack of motivation? It's hard to get yourself motivated to do different things? Do you suffer from morning headaches that, that will progressive, um, progressively wear off as the day goes on? Do you suffer from thinning hair or excessive hair falling out? Do you have thinning of the eyebrows, especially on the, on the outside portions? Do you suffer from dryness of the skin and scalp? Okay. Do you suffer from um, a mental sluggishness? Do you have a hard time thinking clearly? You feel that your thoughts come to you a little bit slower or words come to you slower than normal? Some symptoms on the other side of, of a hyperthyroid state, okay, so a high functioning thyroid um, fall. Do you suffer from heart palpitations? Okay, heart palpitations would feel like um, your, your heart is beating out of your chest. Do you have what's called an inward trembling? It just, you know, you feel a little shaky. Do you have an increased pulse rate when, even maybe when you're sitting down, when you're at rest? Um, you, may feel, you may feel nervous, emotional, you may have high anxiety levels. Do you have problems sleeping at night? Do you suffer from insomnia? You may suffer from night sweats. Um, again, this is, this is an increased metabolic rate, so you have that increased sweating. You may have difficulty gaining weight, so you're either losing weight or having a hard time putting weight on. Maybe you're thinking after I, after I listed off these symptoms that you, um, you've experienced symptoms of both a hypo and a hyperthyroid state. Well, let me tell you, it's very possible, and it's also very important for you to understand why. You see, there's a condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This is an autoimmune disorder in which your immune system is actually attacking your thyroid. Patients that suffer from Hashimoto's often will experience a combination of both hypo and a hyperthyroid symptoms. 
So listen to this. Hashimoto's is the number one cause of primary hypothyroidism in America. Now, why have you not heard more about it? So here's the thing. In traditional medicine, they treat it the same way as they treat any other hypothyroid state. So I'm gonna to explain today why I feel this is such a tragic mistake and what I do to treat my patients who suffer from Hashimoto's. So before we get into that though, let's talk about the thyroid gland a bit. I wanna give you some background information. The thyroid gland runs our metabolism. Think of it as the gas pedal of the body. Thyroid hormones have direct effects on most organ systems, including the heart, which will beat faster and harder under the influence of increased thyroid hormones. Um, this is why heart problems can often accompany chronic thyroid problems. Um, and this may be why um, heart conditions are more, uh, more pro prominent in women under the age of 50. Now, as far as the thyroid hormones go, T3 is the more biologically active hormone, meaning that it's more important for our cellular function. In fact, most of the T4, which is about 80%, that's produced in the body is converted to T3 in your peripheral tissues. So T4 is really just a precursor for your more active hormone, T3. One of the problems in some of the thyroid disorders um, is that you may have trouble converting T4 into T3 in your tissues. So do you know if you've been checked for that problem? If this is occurring, it creates a deficiency of T3, which disrupts your body's ability to properly regulate your metabolism which leads you to a, hyper, a hypothyroid state. This is one form of hypothyroidism that commonly goes undiagnosed because you won't see this on the traditional lab tests that are run, the TSH and the T4, that are run to diagnose your thyroid function. You see, there are actually six common patterns of low thyroid dysfunction, and truthfully, each pattern needs to be addressed in its own way. Tradi traditional medicine just pays little attention to the different patterns because they treat them all the same way by giving thyroid replacement therapy. The problem is that only one of these six patterns of low thyroid function is at all served by this type of treatment. Now, just a quick side note for you. There are some clinicians out there that are treating thyroid conditions using iodine. I do not recommend, recommend iodine in the treatment of thyroid conditions. Again, according to, uh, to renowned thyroid expert, Dr. Datis Karazian, who, who is the author of that book, Why Do I Still Have Thyroid Symptoms, um, using iodine treatment or use, using iodine to treat your thyroid condition is like throwing gasoline on a fire and can actually make you worse. Now, today I want to share with you that um, my hope today is to give you hope for your thyroid condition. Okay? Um, you may be asking yourself, what makes me different from all the other doctors that you've seen? Okay, what sets me apart? Well, what I can tell you is that in my office, no stone is left unturned to determine the exact cause of your thyroid condition. I will guarantee you that no one has told you what I'm about to tell you today. I'm going to address today, number one, what makes my program unique? And number two, how I successfully treat your thyroid disorder. Now, I use specific metabolic and neurological protocols in getting um, to, to treat your thyroid condition. So in getting started today, I want to I want to explain the in-depth metabolic assessment that I use to evaluate the exact cause of your thyroid condition. So number one, let's, let's start talking about the metabolic testing that we use. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to ch check sensitivity testing. We have to determine if you have a sensitivity to gluten, which is wheat, rye, oats, and barley. We need to find out if you're sensitive to milk, eggs, yeast, and soy. You see, if you're sensitive to any of these food groups, it could be making your thyroid condition much worse as it increases infl inflammation in your brain and also throughout your body. Now, if you suffer from Hashimoto's disease, you need to be off all gluten now. Okay, That is a major promoter of that immune response. So here are some, um, some common symptoms of these sensitivities. You may experience chronic pain, fatigue. You may have frequent indigestion. You may feel bloated after you eat. You may suffer constipation or loose stools. You may, may have mouth ulcers or sores. Okay? The only way to find out if you're suffering from any of these food sens sensitivities is to run the test. Okay? And so that's what we do. Um, we also run complete blood panels. By using specific blood tests, such as a complete metabolic panel, a lipid panel, a CBC with auto differential, um, we can assess your adrenal glands, your liver, your kidneys, your red and white blood cells, your gut function.